Now to the tense negotiations between President Biden and House Republicans over whether to raise the country's debt ceiling. On Capitol Hill today, Capitol Police arrested several left-wing activists who were protesting inside a House office building, demanding Democratic leaders not agree to Republican demands for spending cuts as a condition of raising the ceiling. Also today, President Biden met with Republican Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy, who expressed some optimism after the meeting that a deal could be reached. The president has now canceled the second half of his overseas trip this week to return to Washington on Sunday for more negotiations. We're joined now by Representative Josh Burkeen, Republican of Oklahoma. Congressman, we appreciate you taking the time to join us. Glad to be with you. Thanks, Joe. Congressman, give us your take on what was said after today's meeting. There wasn't anything uh, uh, hardened as far as, uh, you know, rock solid as far as agreements to uh, do something on either side. Just a, an open, cordial meeting is what we heard after. Yeah, I mean, this has been happening for a number of, of uh, days upon weeks now. And uh, we're going to have to move this thing off high center. And keep in mind, there was 100 days that... Uh, happened where Speaker McCarthy said to the president, let's discuss, and no discussion occurred. So there's no reason to find ourselves at, at this point. The uh, the ability for us to be able to address the runaway federal spending that has occurred to a greater level in the last 40 years and is moving us towards the real X date and it's not the X date they're talking about of, of the debt ceiling. Um, what I would contend the real X date is, is five years from now when a trillion dollars is going to be spent just on interest payments on our debt and to match what we spend on defense of our nation. And so the real X date, and using that as this kind of a characteristic, is when this nation gets to a point where we run out of, of fiscal space to deal with the problem. And so we've got to be a nation that uh, is willing to uh, no longer kick the can down the road and to face the, the problem uh, head on. Again, last 40 years of debt loading, both Republicans and Democrats have enjoyed living outside our means. And uh, how do you eat a, a donkey slash elephant sized problem one bite at a time? It, it's time to start taking a big bite out of this problem. Despite anything going on today, if uh, agreement or no agreements today, this tweet that you tweeted out the other day still stands. It's still relevant. Since President Biden has been in office, this is what you said. Food prices are up 17 percent. Gas prices are up 37 percent. Real wages down 3.5 percent. The average American uh, family is spending $13,000 more to buy the same goods and services. These numbers mean something to your constituents, Congressman, and hit them hard. But why don't they make sense for the Biden administration? Well, look, that's the tip of the iceberg. That thirteen thousand uh, dollars spent to buy the exact same goods and services today over the course of a year that you did compared to when President Biden entered office is the result of runaway federal spending, devaluation of our currency. I held up in a committee uh, last week a hundred dollar bill and I folded back about one fifth of it and I said that's the amount of depreciation or devaluation rather of our of our dollar in 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 the last several years. So we've lost twenty percent of the buying power of our dollar, but yet in that about the same time frame since twenty seventeen, we've seen a thirty to forty percent growth of total government spending, and so we it's a self inflicted wound and. The debt is wealth mentality is something that privately our nation has been holding on to for, for too long, and it's reflected in the people we're sending to Washington, D.C., and there's many of us that are um, saying no more, no, no more. Well, our kids deserve the blessing of liberty, uh, as, the, as the Constitution actually says in the preamble, to secure the blessing of liberty for ourselves and our posterity. And look, it's the height of selfishness to be uh, living off of the prosperity of the next generation. All right, Congressman Burkeen, we appreciate you joining us today and giving us your insight into this very important topic. Uh, we'd love to have you back on here on Centerpoint. Thank you. Honored. Thank you, Joe. God bless you. You too.